We like to play. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla Miller, the 2020 Stevenson County Farm Bureau intern. Today we're at Steve and Angie Burr's goat farm called Burr Creek Farms located in Orangeville, Illinois. So here to interview with us is Angie Burr. So why don't you tell us about yourself and the history of your farm? Hi. Well, we've had goats for all 17 years. We started with one goat. It was a 4-H project that kind of went wild. I guess <laughs> that's the best way to say. Um, we started with uh, show goats, over Hosley show goats, and uh, four years ago we went into commercial dairy. So now we have quite a few goats and different breeds now. So you mentioned that you're a commercial herb. What exact, exactly does that mean? Commercial, meaning we are selling our milk to um, a cheese factory and they in turn are making cheese and other products. They make yogurt and things like that with our milk. What do you have here? Well, we have a parlor system where the goats will come in up the ramp here and they walk all the way down into their stanchions and as they walk, They'll open up one stanchion as the next one comes in, they open up the next stanchion. Then they come in, they come in, there's, there's food in there. There's a good incentive to get them in here. And um, then we go ahead and milk six, their 16 goats at a time. And when they're done, we just lift up the um, So how many animals do you have located on your farm? I see a lot of goats around here. So how many do you have? We have 340 goats all together. Okay. So you also have a lot of different breeds. What do you all have here? Well, I've got, this would be a Sonnen mix. And this would be Oberhaste and Alpine. Here's another Alpine. There's a purebred Sonnen here. Um, we also have some, if you look over here, the long-eared ones, those are called Luvians. And then we have a few Toggenbergs also, and a couple of Anches. So pretty much quite a few of the breeds. So how many uh, goat breeds are there? There's I believe six major breeds. Okay. There's the Alpine, the Sonnen, the Oberhasli, Nigerian Dwarf, which are the small goats, Nubian, the Manches. Pretty much just, and sable, that's another it's kind of a color breed. On a daily basis. Well, they eat alfalfa hay and they like leaves on their stems because they mm -hmm. like to pick them off. They don't like powdery, really dry stuff because it gets in their nose and they sneeze. And they feed about five pounds of alfalfa uh, on a daily basis and they eat three pounds of a pelleted grain that we give them and they, they eat that in the parlor. Uh, they drink oh, a couple gallons of water a day. That's real important. Water, clean, fresh water is real important to a goat so they can produce lots of milk. They produce, well, the average I would production is about eight pounds of milk per day, which is just not quite a gallon of milk. Um, we've got some that are over 15 pounds. And I know of other farmers that they're getting 20 pounds out of their goats today. That's pretty exceptional and that's, but eight pounds is pretty much the average. So how do you keep your animals healthy on your farm? Well, the big thing is um, they're vaccinated against various diseases. Uh, they're fed properly, which I have a nutritionist that um, she'll take the hay samples and then from there, we figure out what should be put in their, their grain ration. They have free choice mineral. They have clean water. Uh, let's see. And a big thing is, is observation. Watch your goats. You know, notice if somebody's, you know, you can tell if somebody's not feeling good, maybe their ears are down. It's just, observation is a really big thing. Their hooves are trimmed twice a year because they grow pretty fast. And that keeps them comfortable, keeps them, moving around 
without any pain, keeps their legs healthy. Um, yeah, so you had mentioned earlier just to me that you were part of a study at Iowa State University. Do you want to talk about that a little oh, bit? Sure, yeah, that's the GOAT wellness study. And what they are doing is they're setting standards on how goats should be raised and taken care of. It's, it's really quite exciting. Um, um, it's uh, a gal from Iowa State University. This is her postdoc uh, study. And she's from New Zealand. And she's very interesting because she told us about what they do in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And the milk down there is used mostly for baby formula. Hmm, interesting. But that was so uh, what kind of, what all the, are the dairy products that you can make from goat milk? Well, of course you can drink the, the fluid milk. You can make lots of different kinds of cheeses. Uh, you can make your soft cheeses, your hard cheeses, just like you do with the cow milk. Uh, goat soap is a big seller at, at a lot of uh, <laughs> boutiques and things. Uh, ice cream, sherbet, pretty much anything you can do with the cow milk, you can do with a goat milk. All right, so do you have a favorite type of uh, goat dairy product? Well, I really love my my homemade goat sherbet. It's my favorite. Hmm, you'll have to make me a sample one of these oh, times. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Like cow's milk, goat's milk can be used for milk, cheese, and yogurt, but they can also be used to make soap, lotion, chapstick, and body butter. Thank you for joining us around your farm, Angie. Uh, it was my pleasure. I hope you all learned something about dairy goats today.